Welcome back to the channel viewers. So springtime is upon us and you may be getting ready for camping season or you may be a full timer like we are and it's time to do some preventative maintenance. A few days ago we did uh, our fresh water tank. We sanitized it, flushed it out real good, sanitized all our lines. Well today we're going to do the water heater. So we have an Atwood six gallon water heater. Most RVs either come with an Atwood water heater or a Suburban water heater. The biggest difference is one's steel and one's aluminum. The Atwood is aluminum, so it comes with a, a nylon drain plug, whereas the Suburban water heaters come with a magnesium anode rod that you need to replace as it's used up. The calcium and minerals activate with that magnesium anode rod and it eliminates, helps keep that steel water heater nice and clean. Although it still needs to be flushed out and sanitized as well, it's just you have to replace your anode rod if you have a Suburban. Ours, we do not. We just have to remove the drain plug and let it drain out. So the first thing you wanna do when you're preparing to work on your water heater is make sure it's off, both electric and gas, and give it a, an ample amount of time to cool down. You don't wanna burn yourself out here We've had our water heater off since last night, so it is three o'clock, so well over 15 hours. So our water should be nice and cool. And then also make sure you have your water supply cut off, the city water coming in or your water pump because you don't want to open this thing up and have running water coming out, at least not yet. Open your pressure relief valve, and then we can take out our nylon plug. We use a 15th, 16th um, socket on it. Like I said before, make sure you use caution when you're working with this. You don't want to burn yourself. And then you also want to back up because it's going to come out in a gush. So now that your tank's empty, it's just a matter of flushing it out. We have one of the handy dandy water heater adapters here for the garden hose. You can buy them in the big box store in the sky. There's many manufacturers, but it's just a wand that attaches to your garden hose that you can stick up in your water heater and flush it out real good. We use this not only for that, but also to fill our fresh water tank. So just get up in there, flush it out real good, good at least a good two to three minutes. And then when you think it's clear coming out, you'll see the sediment that I'm talking about. Flush it some more because, trust me, there's more sitting on the bottom of that water heater. Now that our tank's empty, we can sanitize it. However, we're not gonna use bleach like we did with our freshwater tank. We're gonna use vinegar, especially in a Suburban. With the steel, no bleach, bad, bad juju to mix the bleach in your, in your water heater. Vinegar will help eat some of that, that, this acid in the vinegar will help eat some of the calcium deposits and mineral deposits that are on the heating element. 
So we want to get as much vinegar as we can in our tank. We've got a six gallon tank. I got four gallons of vinegar. That's well over a 50-50 ratio. And then we'll top it off with water. And you let it sit for several hours. It would be kind of hard to put the vinegar in here through your drain, pot, drain, ho drain plug because this is at the bottom of the water heater. You could hook a hose up to this relief valve here because this is at the top of the water heater, but you'd have to remove this piece, find an adapter, hook this up. We'll show you an easy way to get the vinegar inside the water heater. So we're going to use our winterization kit to get the vinegar into the water heater. Because normally when you winterize, you don't fill your water heater up with five gallons of antifreeze. So make sure all your lines are open to where this will backflow into your water heater. The only open void is the water heater, so that's where it'll go first. Once we get these four gallons in there, then we'll top the rest off with water, then we'll let it sit. So after we got our four gallons of vinegar in the water heater, I take one of those gallon jugs and I fill it up with fresh water and run it through. That way our winterization kit doesn't smell like vinegar. So now that our water heater is full of vinegar, well not full, it's got four gallons in it. That means I've got two gallons of to top it off with fresh water. With your vent valve still open, go cut on your water supply to the rig and it'll fill that two gallon void. And when water starts coming out your vent valve, your water heater's full. You go turn some water on. It's full and it smells like vinegar. Now you can just cut your water supply back off and let it sit. You can help speed up the sanitizing process by cutting your water heater on. We do both electric and gas. It gets hotter faster. And then it's just a matter of once you get that water to a good hot temperature, just let it set for several hours. The longer you let it set, the better. You can go overnight, it would be an excellent plan. We're gonna do at least four hours, just like we did four to six hours, like we did our fresh water tank. So it's been six hours. It's time to get the vinegar out of the water heater. Make sure you cut your power off, electric and gas, to the water heater. And also make sure, re-ensure that your water supply is off. And then it's just repeating the process. If you've got still got hot water in here, use extra caution. Rubber gloves. I've got a little PVC pipe that I use just to open the drain valve. Release that pressure, and then remove your plug. It's still a little hot, so remove your plug and let it drain out. Once it's drained, we'll flush it again. So once you flush your tank, reinstall your drain plug, restore normal flow to your rig, fill up your water heater. Once water starts coming out at the relief valve, close it off. Water heater's full. You can go inside, purge your lines, get all the air out of it, come out and check for leaks around your water heater, then restore power to it. Let it heat up, then you can take a hot shower later. Hey guys, we hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Get updated when we release a new video. As always, we wish you safe travels and an awesome view. If we don't see you on the road, Y'all will see us in the next video. Uh, that's not all, folks. Preventative maintenance on the rig seems like a daily experience. But in all for... Some decent pressure on that line. Preventative maintenance, we do it quarterly, monthly. Hot water, make sure you, you, you get your, hey, cut your. Preventative maintenance on the rig, seems like a daily, daily experience. Get the vinegar into our hot water.
but really we do it monthly, quarterly, annually, whatever. Like the smell of vinegar.